Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, CS Bass TV. Today I'm going to be going over my, my fa absolute favorite cold water smallmouth baits and clear water, cold and clear water smallmouth baits. So it's normally up for up north, early spring, down south. Cold, clear water is what I'm going to be going over today. I'm going to be going over how to rig them, how, exactly how to fish them. And then this is a two part series. So I'm filming this part here at my house. And then the next part will be filmed out on the lake on a boat with my great friend Hayden where we're going to be try using all of these baits. Well, not all of them. Some of these baits that you've seen today, we're going to be using some of them and trying to catch some fish on them, which we probably will. So, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the old Guggen Baits Slim Shape. So here I already have it rigged up right here. Nice little Guggen Baits Slim Shape. Night on a nice little tungsten jig head here. Recommend tungsten. You use tungsten too. Um, it's very. It smells. The fish absolutely love the smell that Guggen Squad has put on this. They've done a great job with the design of this bait. I think Peric designed this one. I don't know. No, Peric des designed the Dragon Drop. I don't know. Anyway, this bait absolutely love it. I love to rig it as a shaky head. Quickly show you how to rig it. So if you look right here, got a nice little eye right there going to thread it straight through this top here. Going to bring it back. See, I'm kind of pulling it. It should start to come by. Look on both sides. Then if you look, I'm starting to kind of pull it out this way. See how that barb's coming out? How that hook tip? Now it should start to look like this. Then you're just going to push it back as far as it'll go. Push. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to do it. Like that. There we go. Good enough. P put Push it past that barb there. Now you have yourself a nice little shaky head. So you can also Texas rig, well, kind of Texas rig it, so that the hook will be flush, and this will be weedless. recommend you do it weedless, but I haven't been able to get them. I'll actually pop up an image of those hooks right now. So those are the hooks that I would recommend using. What you're wanting to do is um, just when you're fishing this, again, you're just going to hop it along the bottom. This worm should be standing straight up. So I would cast it out there right in your high probability area. I'm going to drop that bait straight down. Don't even close your bail or if you're using bait cast or whatever. Let the line go down. Let the shaky, let the worm Go straight down, and then what's going to happen is it's going to stand straight up. And it's going to, this tail right here is going to wave like this. It's an absolute, like, candy for a bass. So, never flip it. And, you're and then as you're doing it, you're just going to kind of hop it along that bottom, making sure that it's kind of waving. Next, a very similar bait, we have the Guggen Baits Rattling Ned. I have it right here has a nice little built-in rattle. Yeah, here's the rattle right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but Guggen Baits, they put this rattle. This is an old Guggen Bait, by the way. They put this rattle right in the back of it, right back in, in here. They shove it right back in there. Then this bait has a little bit of a rattle to it. Anyway, this one's broken, so I just took it apart so that you guys could see it. Amazing bait. I'll quickly show you how to rig it. The opposite, so the rattle's down here. Again, just gonna I'm not I'm not actually this one's absolutely destroyed, but I'm not actually gonna show you fast, just gonna bring it back, foot it forward like that. It should look something like this. Then you're gonna fish it just like that shaky head, drop it straight down, hop it kind of just along these rocks here. I don't have them at, at the moment, but they do be, make these wires that come out weedless. Totally recommend getting these because they're about the same price for one that is actually weedless. And this this is, again, a tungsten way. I'm a firm believer in tungsten. I recommend you get tungsten, too. Next, we're going to have these nice little Berkeley Power Worms. Um, I absolutely love these little Mignola Worms. Oh, well, that was, <laughs> that was lame. Sorry, Suska. Um, anyway, this is a nice little mini worm here. Um, I would... I recommend you use the same. They're very small. I have it Texas rigged right here. It's about how big they are. They're four inches. Nice little swivel tail. Very small. Drop them straight down. Recommend you use a very small worm weight. 
throw it out there, move it along the bottom very slowly is very important. That's Berkeley Power Warm right here. Next, we have the KVD Kevin Van Dam Perfect Plastics by Striking. Get white because you can customize it however you want. I customize all of my swim baits. So I I caught I was catching a ton of I was catching a decent amount of fish on the old Guggen Squad Junior Scout, which is one of the baits from today. I was catching a lot of fish on it, and I won't, but I kind of wanted to see what the soft plastic would do. So I always buy them, and I designed this one just after the just right after the Guggen Squad Scout. Not not entirely, because then what I did is I looked up a picture of a perch, designed it to be perfect for clear water. Now I'd recommend taking the jig head. You got a nice little jig head here, putting it straight back through here. Again, same way. And I'd rec and I will do a separate video on how I customize my baits because um, it can be a little weird at first when you're actually trying it at first because in any way you just kind of thread it back through here. Thread it back. It's just like threading the jig head anywhere else. Got a nice little jig head here. Jig head colors doesn't really matter just get whatever works so now I'm gonna be going on to well the G Guggen Squad Junior Scout reason why I get the Junior Scout is it's a smaller bait these fish aren't going to want to attack a or eat a larger a larger prey they're wanting things that are smaller so this is very small super sharp treble hooks I actually catch more fish and bigger fish using the Guggen Squad Scout says that it dives three to five feet here. I've got it to dive all the way down to six, seven, eight feet. It is a extreme deep diver. You can work it down there, jerk, jerk, and it's, it is full, it does rise. But if you jerk it, it's more for a faster fishing one, but I think it works amazing. Guggen Squad Flat Banger. It's a flat sided crankbait, super tight wobble, amazing little rattle here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It doesn't have as much as the rattle as, say, the Guggen Squad Clutch, but doesn't need to have that much rattle. Super small. It dives, again, they say it dives three to six feet. I've got this thing, it's an, I've got it all the way down to like 10 plus. It's insane. Same with the mini recon here, same. Very nice. I'd recommend fishing this kind of a round cover, deeper rock, kind of shallow, not super deep. But it's very small, working it around those fish, making sure that you kind of cast multiple times within an area. Very important. Now, we're going to move on, since I have it, the Guggen Squad Mini Recon. Again, the Guggen Squad has a 3 to 6 feet. That's right. The reason why I like this is because, again, with the um, Guggen Squad Flat Banger that I got right here, it's a tighter wobble. These fish aren't going to be moving as much. The bait fish resembles them more natural. Now, so with this, same thing. It's smaller because these fish aren't wanting to attack larger prey. The thing is, is cold water fishing takes a lot of effort because you're going to have to, these fish, they aren't going to swim three, four yards to go get your bait. They're wanting it with, or one, two, three yards. They want it within like a foot of their face. So you're going to, you're going to have to cast a lot, but the smaller bait may make them, or this may make them, and the more natural it looks, the instinct may kick in, which is a lot better. But if you move right in front of their face, they're going to grab it. Next, we have the Guggen Squad Juicy Jig. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's the best big bass catcher in the world. I will 100% be tying this on tomorrow. It is absolutely amazing. So this um, video, um, just a little disclaimer here, is coming out on Friday, I'll set it as a premiere, it's going to be coming out on Friday, which is when you're watching it, like, probably, this video comes out on Friday, which is probably when you're watching it, and that, and then, that Friday, I'm also filming this, uh, the, the part two to this, which is where I'm going to be using this, these baits. I will 100% be tying on this juicy jig, and a bait that I forgot to mention, it's not very good standalone, but... The Berkeley Power Bait Okeechobee Craw Color. Okeechobee Craw, why? Because what happens when you're moving it, it'll give a little flash. So I'm actually, 
I will show you guys exactly how to rig it this tomorrow. I promise. I just don't feel like doing it right now. So, now we're moving on to the yum stick baits. Sorry, Hayden, that I had to say that on camera. But it's absolutely amazing. Yum stick baits. Recommend. So the shape of this bait is really good, absolutely amazing, I like it. But the one reason I would recommend the the Guggen Bait Slunker Log, the one reason is because of the Guggen Baits Slant Shots. It's absolutely amazing, it works just insane. And then I think that Berkeley Power Bait and Guggen Squad, as far as scent goes, are completely even. Berkeley has a better stuff for a certain other fish. Guggen Squad's better, you just have to get used to it. But Berkeley, Guggen Squad are absolutely amazing companies. I both use both of their baits, they're absolutely amazing. So that is the little juicy jig here. And then so how you're going to want to rig this log this little stick bait here. There's two different ways. A drop shot, or like I got right here, a nice little drop shot weight. Or, you can also rig it a wacky rig, which is the most simple rig for slower finesse fishing. Super simple to fish. It is the most easy lure to fish. You throw it out there, and you let it sink. And then you throw it out there, and you let it sink. It's more better for flipping docks. This will destroy bass almost all year round on docks. It is insane. And then you can also rig it like a drop shot. I'm not going to go into depth how to rig a drop shot because it's a little more complicated but as long as you there's many videos um uh, mystery tackle box has um a video about how to rig a drop shot i'm pretty sure or kicking their bass tv so i'll link here's kicking their bass tv you might be able to find it here link it right here and then we have mystery tackle box right here so subscribe to both of these channels it'll be right here so cool now um, the, both of those channels should have a good video. Mystery Tackle Box has amazing things on how to fish all these baits. Because this is what I get all my baits from Mystery Tackle Box. Super cheap and easy. So, now, I'm going to go into kind of like the tackle you want to use. A little drop shot weight. This is what I'd recommend using. I think it's a, like an eighth of an ounce or something. Super small Texas rig weight, as I said before. When I was talking about this worm, super small. Make sure you're working it slow. Light floral clear line. The reason why I'm doing floor clear instead of just pure fluorocarbon is because it has the kyperfilmic coating. The reason why I'd recommend getting the um, fluorocarbon coated with kyperfilmic is because the kyperfilmic is extremely strong. You get both benefits. It's extremely clear and super hard to break. Very thin. So floor clear and you can mess with pound test. Wider the better, but you don't want to be losing your lures. <laughs> Now I have the old Berkeley Bass Attractant. It's super important because you want that smell. Why do you want the smell? Well, this Berkeley, well, I normally don't put this on the old Guggen baits, but if I'm using, definitely put it on this, definitely put it on this. I'll probably put it on some of the Berkeley baits. Um, I don't usually like putting it on the Guggen Squad baits, but this stuff will catch bass. You want that scent. The more natural it is, the more scent, the better. So. That is the last item on today's list. Um, as far as rods go, what I'd recommend using, the lighter the rod, the better. Um, I'd recommend a, Ab if you're just beginning, I'd recommend an Abu Garcia Black Max Baitcaster combo. Super cheap, amazing for beginners. If you're getting more advanced, I'd recommend a Silver Max. All of these need to be medium light or medium, not very fast action. And then the reason why you're wanting more of a medium is so that when you're fishing all these baits and you have that little bend in your rod tip, you want for them when that fish bites, sometimes they'll swim towards you or they're really light and your tip will do this. Boom. Then you know you've had a strike and you need to execute. So then you'll set the hook or whatever you need to do. Um, as far as line goes, I always, use braid works amazing um, right here i have i would recommend the berkeley x5 or x9 series it's amazing berkeley makes amazing line for this then i just have p line right now but berkeley makes and p line they both make amazing line but i would recommend using the berkeley x5 or x9 they both have different um, benefits as you can see here you can pause the video if you want to go over some of their benefits here I should probably 
don't know how well you guys can see it. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with that. You can pause it if you'd like to look at it. Yeah. Anyway. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Again, this tomorrow there will be another video, which is the part two to this series of me fishing with my amazing friend Hayden and possibly Seamus. And so that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below. Again, if you want to see in depth of how to rig certain baits, I will post a YouTube video. But there's not a huge need for that because it's like people are like, there's a lot of videos out there on how to rig them and I just don't. But if you guys would like to see that, please leave a comment down below. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow.